In this video, we will look at the main menu and each function within it and how to use them. The main menu is used to access other features within register that are not related to standard transactions. The items available in the menu can vary depending on the configuration set within the web portal. Like the function group, many items in the menu can have feature permissions configured against them. Menu items will also be temporarily unavailable during a transaction. If a menu item is unavailable, first complete the current transaction and try again. The register button at the top of the menu will return you to the main register screen if you are in another section of the system. End of day is where we carry out the cashing up process at the end of a shift or trading day. There are several options for the end of day process. In this example, we will explain how to cash up by denomination as seen here. This is by far the most common and is where you count and record each coin and note denomination in the cash drawer. This will then compare against the till takings and inform you if the till has a shortage where you have less money than expected or an overage where you have more than expected. You can also configure whether to display if the till is up or down and to either cash up by denomination or by cash total where you manually count the cash and record the total amount rather than by each denomination. To begin cashing up, Tap end of day from the menu and tap the end day confirmation. You will now see this screen with entries for card takings as well as all your note and coin totals. In the centre we have a keypad for entering the values and on the right we have our takings and expected values along with other details such as paid in and paid out and a continuous display if the till is currently up or down. First we would carry out the end day or Z reading on our card terminal and enter the values using the keypad. Like on the main register, decimal places are added automatically and you can use the C button if you make a mistake. Tap the enter button to confirm the value and to move on to the next. Now it is a case of counting each of the notes and coins in the cash drawer. All you need to do is enter the count for each. Register will do the calculations for you and display the cash value. To do this, just input the count and tap enter. In the interest of time, we will speed up this process for the video. After entering all your cash values, all that remains is to do the same for any additional tenders you have configured in the same way we did for cash. Once everything has been entered, tap the end day button. A confirmation will display if the till is balanced, has an overage or a shortage. You can either tap back to check and re-enter or tap end day to confirm the values. After ending the day, you will be logged out ready for the next day's trading. You can access local reports from the main menu this will display reports for the tills that you are currently using. The reports available are daily sales to see how much has sold today, daily product sales to see what has sold today, and daily store sales, which will get a total of sales for all tills in that store if you operate multiple tills. You can view and compare data from other days by tapping the arrows at the top of the screen or by selecting the date from the calendar. You can quickly jump back to today by tapping the today button. To view the other reports, you can either tap the tab or swipe across the screen. When viewing the product report, you can sort the table by any column by tapping the column name. This will sort in A to Z or vice versa. The store sales report is only available when the till is online. The others will work offline. This is because the till will need to sync with the web portal to get the information from the other tills in the store. You also have the option to print any of the reports available as well as jump straight to the end day process we have just seen. Paid in and paid out are used when you need to either take money out of the till or add money to the till and it is not related to a sale. For example, you need to pay the window cleaner in cash. These two features operate in the same way, so we will only demonstrate paid out. First, select paid out from the menu, then tap paid out reason and tap a reason from the drop down menu. Now enter the amount of money using the keypad and tap the green payout button to confirm and open the cash drawer. Transaction history is where you can view previous transactions from that till and reprint a customer receipt. You can also refund a transaction and link a transaction to a customer from here. After tapping transaction history from the menu, you will see a table listing today's transactions from the till. Like reports, you can change days using the arrows and calendar. You can look up a specific transaction by tapping the Look Up Transaction button. This will then display a keypad for entering the transaction ID which is printed on every receipt below the date. Enter the transaction ID and tap Search. You can also select a transaction from the table. 
the searched or selected transaction will display a copy of its journal on the right hand side of the screen, where we also have an option to reprint the customer receipt. We also have the option to refund the transaction either partially or in full. Please check out the function group video which details the refund processes. Register Plus users also have the option to link the transaction to a customer. Tapping this will allow you to either create a new customer or search for an existing customer to assign the transaction to. Please take a look at our CRM videos which provide more details on this functionality. Stock allows you to view product details, stock quantities and carry out stock adjustments against any product. First, tap stock from the main menu. From the stock screen, you can search for an item either by scanning a barcode or entering text. The text will search against the barcode, SKU and product name. In this example, we will search for all products that contain Star Wars in the name. After tapping search, the results will be displayed in the table below. Simply tap the item and the product details will be displayed on the right. The stock value for the store will be displayed followed by the product image if one has been assigned. The table below lists all product details and is scrollable. Clicking the stock check tab will list the stock quantities of other stores. To update the stock quantity in this store, tap the update button. You can then increase and decrease the stock quantity by using the plus and minus buttons. Alternatively, you can replace the stock quantity by using the keypad. Tap save to apply the change. This information will then be submitted to the web portal for all other tills and stores to see the updated information. The web portal button provides a shortcut to the web portal. Tapping the web portal button will open a web browser within register. Simply log in with your credentials and carry out any tasks as you normally would. The custom URL can be configured as a shortcut to any website. In this example, we have called it about register, but this can be changed on the web portal to go to your website. The customer and calendar buttons are only available to Register Plus users that want to make use of the Customer Relationship Manager or CRM. These allow you to view and manage your customers as well as book customer appointments. Please check our CRM videos for further details. Finally we have the Guide button. This will open an online version of the user guide. Further information on the menu and all the features within it can be found in your user manual. If you still have any questions, please get in touch with your solution provider who will be able to offer further assistance.